Hello everybody and welcome back to a, another beauty and lifestyle video on my channel. Today I am going to do a very natural, very quick and easy makeup face. It is great for a couple different types of makeup wearers. One, someone who is new to makeup. The second, someone who likes to wear makeup but likes a, more of a minimal makeup look. And third, someone who is like loves wearing makeup like I do, but sometimes they just want a very natural looking face for like the weekend or traveling or whatnot. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Going, first thing I am going to be starting with is this Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And what that does, it, it literally attracts moisture to the skin like a magnet. So it's a really good place to start for makeup. Especially for a natural day, you want your skin to be looking like really glowy, not dry. So this is a really good place to start. And now we're just gonna let that sit on the face for a minute or two. Next thing we're going to do is prime. Now I had a couple questions about primer. What is primer? Why do you use it? Primer is essentially a component of makeup. It's a step in makeup that we do to help prep the skin for the foundation or the makeup that we are going to be putting on. There are a lot of different types of primers you can get. I'm going to show you four, um, two drugstore, two high end, um, just to show you kind of the different shapes and sizes that they come in. The first one is what I am going to be using today. It is called the NYX. This is the NYX Honey Do Me, Honey Do Me Up, I believe, primer. I really like this for my minimal makeup days because it's really glowy, it has flecks of like gold in it, and it sits really nicely on the face and it's not heavy. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Another one that I use frequently in my day-to-day -day routine is, it's also another Nick. This is the Angel Veil Primer. This primer is great if you have oily T-zones or any kind of problem oily areas on your skin. This holds that makeup in place really well without having it slip and slide all over the place. These two, I believe this one, this one's a bit more expensive. I believe it's like 18 or 19 and then this one's 12. For the higher end primers, they essentially do the same thing. The ingredients are a bit different. They might, there really isn't much of a difference besides the price. So one that I actually really like and I use on like my heavier makeup days is by Touch and Soul. Primer makes my skin feel so silky and so smooth. I just love it. It works well with some foundations, but not all. So you have to kind of experiment to see which foundation this one works really well with. Now one that I'm really, really excited about <laughs> is from a company called Milk Makeup. This is the Hydro Grip Pro. This company recently came to Sephora Canada and I'm so excited because I would have to order this online and then with exchange and shipping, it was a lot. <laughs> so this one is about $35 from Sephora and I believe this one is $25 from Sephora. Okay, so let's get into the actual makeup application. Okay, so we're going to start by applying the primer. I am just going to kind of swirl this in and I'm literally just going to like, kind of just blob this onto the face. And then we're just going to take our, our hands and we're just going to work that into the skin. Now when it comes to foundation, you have a few different options and it really depends on what kind of look you want to go for. So for a, for a lighter makeup day, I would choose between one of two products. The first one being a BB cream. This one is from Physicians, this one is from Physicians Formula. Now it's... It's, a, it's called a beauty balm. It doesn't really offer a lot of coverage on your skin. It kind of just helps smooth and give it some kind of very sheer coverage. I'm actually going to be using this one today. Another option is a tinted moisturizer. This one is from Physicians Formula as well. It has such cute packaging. Um, it is literally the name of the product. It is a moisturizer that has been tinted with some foundation. So if you have dry skin, tinted moisturizer is a really good option um, as well. 
then obviously your last choice would be just a normal foundation. This is one that I actually really, really... This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour 20 wear foundation. I'm going to be doing a video with this very, very soon because I freaking love this stuff. But again, it's a heavier foundation. So I just want to... I just want to stick with something very, very light for today, so I'm going to be using the BB cream. So I'm just going to be taking that, and I'm just going to take about that much for now. I think that's going to be enough. And I'm just going to apply it with my fingers to the skin. Just want to, if you have too much, just like wipe and then use a towel to just wipe the product off of your hands. It happens all the time, and that's okay. So you're just going to be working this product into the skin, just making sure it's all smoothed out. So once you feel like that is smoothed out, make sure you go down your neck, even though it is a lighter product, you still want to make sure that you're blending it down your neck. Okay, I'm just going to grab my mirror and check and see how that looks. Make sure to get like this corner of the eye here always gets neglected. If you need to take a brush, you can always take a brush and just smooth things over. If you're, if you need to get product in like those hard to reach places. Now I'm just gonna take a brush and just smooth everything out. I'm not really wiping, I'm more just dabbing and pressing because I don't wanna wipe off all of the tinted moisturizer that we just put in, or sorry, the BB cream. But as you can see, there's still really good coverage. It evened out my skin tone, but I don't look like it doesn't cancel out a lot on my face. Like you can still see some freckles poking through. Um, you can still see like a, a bit of like my dark, my dark circles, like the discoloration under here. You can still see those. Next step, hold on. Okay. So the next step is concealer. I always conceal. Um, I guess my dark circles are a bit of an insecurity, um, but I always conceal. But I'm not going to put as much as I usually do. I'm just going to dot this in places that I feel like I need a bit more coverage. If I had any blemishes, I can always go through and spot conceal. I don't have any blemishes right now, but say like I had a pimple right here, I could just dab that or on my chin. I get them a lot on my chin. You can just spot conceal instead of trying to add more, more foundation or more BB cream over them. You can just use the concealer and do that. So now I'm going to dab. Dabbing. Can you guys hear my cat? Okay. Great. Concealer. Done. Boom. We are going to be moving on to finishing the rest of the complexion part. So what I'm going to do is I am going to be taking a normal foundation pressed powder. So because the BB cream and the tinted moisturizer don't offer a lot of coverage, I just like to go through with this and just kind of use that and press that all over the face. So I'm just going to pick up some color like there, like such, and then I'm just going to press that. Oh, my kitty cat. I can hear her. <laughs> I can't let her in here when I'm filming because she'll like jump up on the table. She steals my brushes. She steals my sponge. And then don't forget to blend down the neck. I don't have my contacts in. I don't have my contacts in so I can't like not even really see. Oh, that looks real pretty good. It just looks really like, it just looks like skin, which is what you really, really want. Oh, that looks divine, darling. Uh, yes, it looks great. Okay, so. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to move on to brows. 
When I do a look like this, I don't typically fill in my brows because for me, this is a weekend look. So I get a gel, in an eyebrow gel that is tinted. It's not super colored and pigmented, but it's still tinted. Let me show you. This is from Senna. I get this from my brow lady. This is called Senna. I get this from my brow lady. And I just want I just want to swatch this on the back of my hand just so you see how sheer it is. It's still providing some kind of color, but you're not gonna you're not gonna get like globby brows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this out. See how it's like really globbed on the tip? I'm going to remove the globs. And then I'm just going to brush this through my brows and I'm going to brush my brows up. I really like a fuller brow makeup or makeup look. I don't like thin brows, that's just personal preference. Um, I mean, you work with what you have, right? So I'm just going to brush this through it and I'm going to just wipe away any globs that do happen. Now you can actually, you can see a difference, let me come closer, you can see a difference in the brow. Like this one has nothing through it, this one just has a bit of a colored gel through it and it just looks more shaped and more defined. I love, 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 love my brows. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side as well. Now that the brows are done, we are going to finish the face. We are all oh, pretty much halfway through. I promise on a day where I don't, where I'm not filming, where I'm just doing this like day to day, if I'm going for lunch with my mom on like a Saturday, this literally takes me 10 minutes. And like the more you do it, the faster you get. I mean, 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna bronze the face. <laughs> now, I am using a different bronzer, bronzer from my last video, so I don't end up with a beard <laughs> like I did last time. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte. Now this is actually a foundation, so I just picked it up in a darker shade. Um, something that I thought would be nice for a bronzer. So I'm just going to take my angled brush and we're going to bronze. Oh my god. Let's hope that what happened last time doesn't <laughs> happen this time. Okay, I'm gonna bronze and then I'm going to check in the mirror or check in the camera, sorry. I'm not wearing my contacts today. I'm gonna be wearing my glasses so I can't really see what it looks like in the camera until I get up and get really close. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, how does that... Hold on, let me put my glasses on. That is a much better result. <laughs> than last time holy okay I think I'm going to retire that bronzer that I use until maybe middle of summer end of summer where I feel like I'm more tanned <laughs> one thing I did forget to do is I forgot to really set the under eye how did I forget I'm actually okay we're gonna finish bronzing the face but I need to finish setting the under eye I'm gonna take this powder again the one that we used all over the face and I'm just going to take that and press it underneath the eye and in the handlebar mustache zone yes handlebar mustache zone that's where I crease the most besides my under eye so I need to make sure that I really said that okay okay so we finished setting back to bronzing I'm just going to bronze the forehead and while I'm doing this I'm going to be pulling it back into my hairline it just looks more natural okay so my camera actually overheats and then it stops recording then I have to wait for it to cool down so while that was going on I finished my hair and I think it looks great we are gonna get back into the makeup so we have the face bronze, we are going to 
move into blush. Now with a look like this, I like to keep my face looking more bronzy. You can you can go ahead and use you can go ahead and use pink blushes, you can use burgundy blushes, you can use really whatever suits your skin. But for me, I like to do a bronzy look. So this is a cheek palette. It's called Blush by 3 and it is the palette Lace by Sleek. I'm going to be using that middle shade. It is so nice. I freaking love this color, especially when it's summer and you just want to look like a bronzy goddess and it's not too overpowering on the face I'm just gonna put that on how does they look looks pretty darn good actually okay. and then the other side oh <laughs> oh don't don't do what I just did. Don't put that freaking brush in your eye. Okay. For mascara, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers. This is a different brush. This is actually more like a little bit of a comb. This one's more lengthening. I really, I don't really care if the lashes look volumized. I just want them to have some color and a bit of length. Because it's such a simple face. Mascara is done. We are pretty much done the face. What I am going to do is I'm going to be using the that first hydrating spray that I used at the beginning of the video. I'm going to use that to set my face. So I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to be using just a very nude, shimmery lip gloss just to finish it off. And that... Oh, I just love this color. You don't have to use a gloss. You can use a lipstick. You can just use lip liner and then put a gloss over top of it. Whatever you have, use it. You can even just put lip chap on. If that's your jam, that's your jam. So, you guys. Let me finish. I'm so blind. God. Okay, you guys. This is the final look. That is the finished look. I really, really love it. It's so quick and it's easy, but you still get that look of wearing makeup, but it's not cakey and it's not heavy and you're just using just a couple products. It's stuff that we probably, that you guys already probably have in your collection. Just use it now. Oh my God, I can do this makeup in 10 minutes. It does not take me long. The more you practice, the faster you'll get and the more fabulous you are going to look. Yeah. So you guys, that is it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something today. If you have any comments, please let me know. Also, before you leave, if you can please subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. I am a new YouTuber in the sea of never-ending YouTube videos. If you don't want my content to get lost or muddled, if you still wanna watch my videos, please subscribe, like this, Video. And also click that, <laughs> I guess it's the bell. Click the bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload. That's it for me today. Sayonara.